First off, huge congrats to N8N for their Series C funding round. That's a huge milestone, and it's actually part of a broader industry signal. We're finally starting to move away from AI as experimentation and into the era of production deployment. But while the tech world is buzzing about AI agents and offerings like N8N, a lot of people are missing the bigger picture. So here it is. A cloud-heavy, centralized automation brain is not the future of industrial AI. In fact, it's one of the most inefficient ways to build and deploy this kind of system. Not only that, it can introduce huge landmines for organizations using real devices in the physical world. Hey there, my name is Christopher Sandoval. I'm a developer relations advocate here at Flowfuse, and today I'm here to help clear up some misconceptions that are driving the current cycle of the AI industrial automation hype train. All right, let's get into it. So first things first, a lot of people don't seem to understand why OpenAI's Agent Kit or N8N aren't a great fit for AI industrial automation. So let's demystify that first. So the Achilles heel for those sort of solutions is the fact that we're not operating with just purely virtual devices. We're working with actual machines in a factory, real sensors detecting physical objects like water pressure, heat, vibration, real elements in the physical space. Now, if you were just using virtual machines and virtual environments, then something like N8N would work perfectly. But that's not the reality of industrial automation. We just don't live in that world. A single complicated and heavy centralized system for orchestration is just too high latency. It's too slow. And when you have data that is generated and has to be acted upon in a matter of milliseconds, you just can't afford that extra latency. If a machine needs to be shut down for a safety reason, I don't want that request routed through a black box, a box that I have no control over, no visibility into, and that I don't own. And it doesn't stop there. Unstable network environments, unstable physical environments, constantly changing setups and configurations. All of these systems can cause your environment to be cut off from that central brain. And when you cut off the central brain, you're left with no observability and no control. And given that these systems were developed to give you observability and to give you control, that's sort of the antithesis of what they should be doing. And even abstracting away all the other things I've said, the simple fact is that you have issues of data gravity, of cost, of security, of governance, of compliance, data sovereignty. Using a centralized service like N8N or using a service like Agent Kit that takes your request, feeds it into a black box, and then who knows what happens? You're not creating operations that are aligned to today's needs. You're creating operations that are aligned to their billing cycle and their product offering. You're losing control. Let me put it another way. The future of AI is not some single, all-knowing, all-seeing, Tron-like master control program. No, the future of industrial AI and automation is a decentralized and distributed nervous system. It is a network of local, intelligent, capable, and controllable systems and nodes. Nodes that can sense, react, reason, directly at the edge and in an observable way. Not in some box that you don't own that doesn't give you any visibility at all. To be most effective, AI needs to live where the data is generated. Or at least it needs to be as close to that data as possible. That's really the only way that you can allow AI to make impactful and immediate choices on data in a way that isn't weighed down by the system itself. Now, of course, I'm a little bit biased here. I'm a Flowfuse rep. Of course, I'm going to say you should use Flowfuse. Hold on. Let's hear him out. There's a reason that I've been advocating for Flowfuse and Node-RED for years, and it's this simple fact. Node-RED was literally created for industrial automation. That's what it's designed to do. And it does that fantastically, better than any solution that I can think of. And Flowfuse is constantly adding new features, new systems to make that experience even better. There are thousands of users, community developers, and fans who believe in this solution because that's what it was designed for. The simple fact is that Node-RED has already proven itself across some of the most varied industries you can imagine. And Flowfuse is adding AI features that make sense, that make your life better. We're not just adding features because AI is cool and we want to get on the hype train. As a good example, look at Flowfuse AI Assistant. This tool is one of the most powerful solutions that I use every single day in my development process. I can select nodes that I don't understand, entire workflows that I don't understand, and I can ask the assistant to summarize what they are, what they do. I can ask it for help generating code, and I very rarely, if ever, have problems with the code generated. I don't get weird hallucinations that look like they might work, but then break as soon as I try and deploy it. And in my AI workflows, I can actually see what is going into the system and what is coming out. I don't just send it to a processor and hope that I get back what I want. Now, this is not to say that those other solutions don't have their place. In specific workflows and specific situations, you will find a tool that may work for you. 
But the simple fact is that none of them are a strong fit for purpose as Node-RED and Flowfuse. And the best part is you're not losing anything. Flowfuse also has cloud offerings, except you can control your data. Flowfuse also has AI, except you know what's going in and you know what's coming out. Flowfuse works great with remote orchestration, but it also offers you hyper-local control over devices and sensors. So you can get the best of high locality systems and cloud orchestration without giving up any of your control. Oh, and by the way, Flowfuse is also rolling out AI agent nodes. So instead of being able to use just AI nodes in some of these other providers, you can use AI nodes in combination with MQTT nodes, HTTP request nodes, complex JSON parsing, automatic translation, mutation and transformation, rendering on the dashboards, almost anything that you could want. This guy's making a lot of sense. Please stop messing with the buttons. Just let him finish. So here's what I want you to take away from this. The rise of AI orchestration is super exciting and it has a ton of utility. But for those of us solving real problems in the physical world, it's a stepping stone, not the final destination. And choosing the right platform will come down to how you operate, what your needs are, and how much you value control. If you need to bring automation to your factory flows, supply chains, and critical infrastructure, there's really only one option. And it's the option that's trusted by organizations across the planet. It's the platform that's built for the edge and not just tacked on after the fact. You don't just need a brain, you need a complete nervous system. You need Flowfuse. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give us a like, comment, or subscribe. Let us know in the comments below how Flowfuse and Node-RED are helping you solve problems today. If you're interested in getting started with Flowfuse, you can head to flowfuse.com for a free 14-day trial. This has been Christopher Sandoval, and I'll see you in the next one.